tragedies from losing my, my father, my mother, my ex-wife, of course, and uh, my daughter. Right now, I think I'm in a great place mentally and spiritually. And I just had to, you know, get all of the cobwebs out, all of the things that has um, kept me from focusing on what is important in life. being on stage is just like something clicks in me as soon as I you know walk to the side of that stage something clicks and that's why they call me the bad boy yo what's up this is Bobby Brown I've done so much in my life. I was with New Edition. Rick James was the one that really influenced me. He taught me how to play the bass, you know. We was on tour when we was younger, so as I grew older and older, he was just, you know, he was always in my head trying to tell me the right way to go. I still hear him today. We met at um, Soul Train Music Awards. I was sitting in the front row and the Winans were sitting in back of me and she walked up and she was talking to the Winans and she just kept bumping me and just kept bumping me and bumping me. And I looked back and I asked her, I said, why do you keep bumping me? She said, because I want to. And from that moment on, things just sparked. As beautiful as a woman as she is on the outside, she was the same on the inside. Some people just grow apart, and we just grew apart. When you're both trying to, you know, um, get well, and you're working hard at getting well, and, and one is getting well, but the other isn't, I think we were no good for each other at that point, you know, um, of, our, of our addictions. And um, it took us separating and us having to find ourselves. 
in order to um, to become better. And I got a phone call. Um, a brother of mine, Ralph Tresvan, let me know that what happened. It was right before, right after a sound check, and right before the concert. Right before we walked in, he told me, and you know, uh, I don't know about anybody else, but when you get devastating news like that, you you lose it. She's the greatest vocalist. That voice of hers, she is the voice. When they show that television show, The Voice, they're talking about Whitney Houston. There's no other voice like her. A few stolen moments is all that we share. You've got your family and they need you there. Though I try to resist being last on your list, but no. Bobby Chris, she, oh my God, she was she was just a joy. She was a bundle of joy to be around. The smile, she loved entertaining, she loved to sing. After the divorce, we were, you know, separated. She was with her mom and she sided with her mom at the time. But the few short months, you know, before she passed, we got closer. Um, after her mom passed, I was just trying and trying and trying to be there for her. And um, she was mourning and I was mourning at the same time. There's really no words to express how it feels. Handling it, it's hard every day. It gets, gets harder every day, you know? Um, just missing her and looking in, into her siblings' eyes and their faces helped me cope with it. The strength that they have and, and the love that they, feel for, they felt for their sister and they still feel for their sister holds me and they keep me strong. My addiction now are my kids. My addiction now is the love of my beautiful wife and seeing her face and seeing her smile and trying to be a better man so that she can appreciate who I am. Life is not easy. You gotta stand up and fight to live healthy. That's the one thing I've been able to do in my life is through tragedy and through every obstacle that I've been through.